it over, but then it would fuck my OCD and then it would drive me nuts. So sorry, folks, on that one. <laughs> but yes, let me turn on the game so we can actually hear the really, really amazing <laughs> intro that I will be miming my way along because you don't want to hear me sing this, trust me. But yes, let's do the intro. He could outshoot all the adolescents west of Durango and north of Abilene. Farkas, Freddie Farkas, famous gunslinging deputy Freddie Farkas, Freddie Farkas, frontier hero to be. Then one day, young Freddy Farkas stared at eyes as black and dark as night. The eyes of an outlaw well known throughout the West. Oh, the tough kid's name was Kenny, and he, and he outdrew Freddy Farkas when he shot Freddy's ear off to prove who was the best. Now our hero, Freddy Farkas, with wounded pride and earless carcass, bowed to the heavens to give up gunnery. He'd be better off, he reckoned, with a lifelong dream that always beckoned pistols, not pistols, and pharmacology. Farkas, Freddy Farkas, highest score on his SAT. Freddy Farkas, Freddy Farkas, Five-year college degree. After Fred matriculated, got his PhD and graduated, moved out to Coarse Gold and bought a pharmacy. Now he's a real prescription writer, and they don't know he's an ex-gunfighter. Locked up his memories, repressed them totally. But his peaceful new survival soon was shot to hell upon arrival of course gold school barn, the sweet Penelope. She has captured Fred's affection, but he's scared he'll get a huge rejection. Can't bear to tell her just what he used to be. Farkas, Freddy Farkas. Frontier pharmacist bourgeoisie Freddy Parkus Freddy Parkus Peerless, earless, and free. Oh, best intro ever. Best intro to a game because that song gets stuck in my head every time I load up this game. Uh, but yes, it's a play. Act one, living cool, living the cool school dream. Freddy Farkas? You was asking about Freddy Farkas? Oh, I had to turn the on the subtitles. Who saved Corsco, only nobody knowed it was him? Why, I just hop up here on old Whitlin Willie's lap and I'll Ooh. tell you all I don't want to be on Whitlin Willie's lap. No, thank you. Carn, it, a bit more to the right. That's got it. Ooh. Sit right there. Oh, no. Willie, you're thank Willie. You. Willie, you are very creepy. Now, if I remembers this right, it's been a quite a few years. My brain's getting a mad rusty. Oh, that's right. It all started when Freddy went to open up the pharmacy one day, way back in the spring of 1888, as I recall. Okay, 1888. Oh, here's the piggy. Okay. Uh...
Detail can go up. Let's try talking to this guy, because otherwise I might have to restart the game. Quick. Billy, the town handyman and jack of all trades, is boarding up yet another coarse gold business. The Dirty Sheet Hotel, the finest hostelry in all of eastern Madera County. Okay, so maybe it was only the best after that other hotel was shut down, but in its day, the Dirty Sheet was really something. Say, Billy, okay. when did the old Dirty Sheet I'm about to go fold? into the settings. <laughs> Oh, good morning, Mr. Farkas. Why, just yesterday, it was a surprise to me, too. No, I, just in I need to uh, fix that. Okay. Start. Put that over here. Put that down. Okay. Let's see if it works this time. Otherwise, I might have to... Oh, oh, there we go. You was asking, and we got a chicken this time. I didn't know that changed. Okay, that's a new one on me. We already heard uh, Whitling Willie about us being on his lap. <laughs> Billy, yeah, the no. man and jack of all trades, is boarding up yet another coarse gold business, the Dirty Sheet Hotel, the finest hostelry in all of Eastern Madera County. Okay, so maybe it was only the best after that other hotel was shut down, but in its day, the dirty sheet was really something. The dirty sheet. Say, Billy, when did the old dirty sheet fold? Oh, <laughs> oh God, that's bad. Oh, good morning, Mr. Farkas. You can tell um, Why, Aloe was in this. It was a surprise to me, too. Nobody told me nothing about it until they gave me these boards. Okay, we'll go, go into the cafe. We gotta talk tomorrow. Mm. Oh, we can see some corn and some beans. I know, I know. I'm guessing that's apple and cherry. So I'm guessing that's oh, moonshine. Can't you put up those no pest strips yet? Sorry, mom. Oh awful. God. Oh God. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about that. Morning, Helen. PC, this game Great is not. Goodness. Since when are we on a first name basis? Only my closest friends may call me Helen. You and I are acquaintances, nothing more. Therefore, you should address me as Mom. Land's sake, I'm sorry, Hel- Uh, Mom? <laughs> he said better. the wrong one. Now, what do you want? Well, uh, when I remember, I'll let you know. Honestly. Some people. It's an old empty can of P&W beans. The firm, crisp beans that smell as savory on the way out as they do on the Ooh. way in. No one's beans that smell like farts. P&W corn. Firm, crisp kernels that look as good coming out as they do going in. Why is everything so this good? This is a bottle of Mom's home pressed apple cider. Oh, it's Mom cider. Is merciless to those poor apples. As she turns the press, she screams, "Die, you suckers, die!" <laughs> oh, I really don't want beans that are as potent as they go. In. Oh, okay. The glass actually. Uh... Oh, some guy in a top hat. <laughs> Or a 10 gallon hat, some kind of hat. Oh dear. It's the drunken doctor. I remember this guy. Doc, hey, Doc. Huh? What's that? 
Who's that? Are you drunk again? Me drunk? Never. I'm as sober as the day I was plowed off my ass. <laughs> I mean, the day I was born. <laughs> oh, dear. You pick up the whiskey glass. Score. I love that score. There's 999 points in this game. We are not getting all of those. It's a shame I can't turn up the voices and turn down um we're gonna turn up the speed a bit because why not right, and we're gonna save here just in, oh we're using scum vm so we got this odd interface we're gonna call this start but that's all i think we wanted was the glass Yeah, it was directed by Aldo. We can definitely tell by that. Oh, for fuck's sake. This... Why do I play games in Scum VM when I know that these games are not gonna. Oh, I think I forgot something at the bar. Oh. Pissing balls. Get. Oh my god, I'm gonna have that trouble again. Let's go out the back, because I'm sure there's something out the back. You oh. can't take credit for something you haven't done. I'm not trying to take credit for you something I haven't done. I'm trying to pick up the ice pick. Place it in your pocket. Just don't bend over. God suddenly, game. Or you'll circumcise Calm your yourself. fucking tits. Of course, that won't be any skin off your nose. Score! I think there's something down here too. Score! You surreptitiously swipe the elixir, looking around to see if anybody's watching. Fortunately, nobody is. Whoop! Pick up everything that's not nailed down. If it is nailed down, solve an area moving puzzle. Thankfully, this one was not nailed down. <laughs> Head over this way. I don't think there's anything we can do in these bits yet. Uh, I don't think so. We can have a look, see. I, no. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know about that Easter egg. Come on, Freddy. Thank you. There's our pharmacy, but we need the church. But I can't remember where the... That's the school. Oh, Freddy. We need to find the church. I don't where the church is. Don't think it's a... Oh, he's putting the glass back. <laughs> Can we go up this way? Oh, there we go. Don't Pick. touch the cacti. You'll oh, the cactuses. Yourself. Uh, Maybe we can go in the church? Oh, we can. Ah. Uh. Scratching right there sure feels good. No, eh, Freddy? Freddy, I'm not telling you to scratch your balls. Telling you, you to get the fucking candle. Stealing a candle from a church, but they wouldn't miss one of those puddles of candle wax. Also, I see a key. No, the key. The key. Oh man, lord. Have I actually got to look at it before he does anything? Oh, I actually have to look at it. Score, you score indeed. <laughs> now, can I head this way from here? 
Yes, I can. There's the old watering hole. Well, some kind of water thing anyway. Why would you drink water in this fucking era? I wouldn't know because... Ugh. Water is probably not the cleanest thing in the world. I don't think there's the ladder here yet. So I think we're going to have to wait on that one. Let's talk to... Oh, God. Let's talk to this guy who... Oh God. Morning, Dominic. Morning, Freddy. Oh, God. What's new? This is definitely before the PC era. Uh, let's see. I finished reading A Century of Dishonor last night. Quite impressive. That Helen Hunt Jackson really knows how to evoke an image of the white man's treachery. Do you know how many treaties your people have signed and then broken in the past 20 years alone? Uh, excuse me, I, I heard someone calling me or something. <laughs> Right, we're gonna save again just because you know Sierra Games. Uh, store, I guess we're gonna call it his store. I know it's a pharmacy, but whatever. The pharmacy door is locked. This ain't Mayberry, partner. Mayberry. I know that means something, but what I ain't got is this our key. Nobody will miss. Oh, that's the church key. Hey. That's our door key. Okay. We can use the door key. Score. You Sc unlock the door. Ta-da! <laughs> I love that. Ta-da! You're halfway through the game. No, we're not. Far fucking from it. Oh, there's a tube of paste Score. here. You pick up a tube of Preparation G in the handy 25-ounce crabby elephant size. Crabby elephant size. <laughs> uh, now I need to make Freddy move because we need to get around here. Oh, well, hello, Penelope. Frederick. Yes. Why, Miss Prim, you sure are looking pretty today. <laughs> now, Frederick. You may call me Penelope if you please. Now, Miss Penelope, would you I like to see my sick shooter? To that point in our relationship. Oh my. She must be talking about the hayride you both went on last month. Or the square dance you both went to last week. Or the cow tipping expedition you both went on tipping. last night. Well then, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company this fine morning? Oh, this isn't a social call, I'm afraid. I had this rather important prescription Doc Gillespie gave me. I was hoping you could fill it as soon as possible. My pleasure, Penelope. Alright, I think this is the copyright of the game, if I remember rightly. You study Penelope's prescription and prepare to carefully fill it. You wouldn't want to make a mistake with her medicine. All right, I'm gonna call the. Can, oh, God, can we not? Oh. Save. Uh, copy. Right. <laughs> because, but now we can look at her prescription anyway. So, what does she need? Needs five mils of fuck knows what the hell that is. <laughs> so okay. Okay. So we need to get a grand to prescription boxes, medicine bottles, water. Ah, I think that's what it was. This Oops. bottle of Tylox Polonide is empty. It never seemed to have enough. Oh. This is this is where you concoct all. So if we got concoct our own. Okay. 
we need to concoct our own. That's gonna be... Uh, let me go and get the copyright. Alright, where is it? GOG. Uh, it, I don't think it's a hint book. I think it's actually going to be the manual manual. was her prescription for again? No, I want my inventory. Uh... Okay. Because since we've ran out, we've got to make our own. I've got to look under P, apparently. Okay. Why the? Oh, is an acceptable substitute. Okay. I'm at four. It's forty, I think, if I remember rightly. Once. Four milliliters. Why the? Oops. It's not forty. It's four. This is where. You drop the. Uh, what more? Don't want a test tube. But that's five milliliters. We need. What? Oh, five times a day. Am I being dumb? I think I'm being dumb. Twice a day. So that's eight times five. So that's 40. I was correct. God damn it. Five to forty. There we go. Medicine bottles. I don't need the matches. So of course. You carefully it. label the container Miss Penelope Prim for internal use only. And what internals they are. You dream about them day and night. Now, I think that... No, that's up... Oh. I guess we're going to go upstairs. There always has to be a moose in Sierra games. We're going to take the key. You take the key. Hot dog. Now we're getting somewhere. Hot dog. Claim check. You pick up the claim check. Your hand trembling with the memory of the last time you wore the boots that you traded for it. That monster, Kenny the Kid, looking down at you and laughing as your ear bled in the hot sun. You put those boots away, never to wear them again. And when you moved to Coarse Gold, you sent them to be cleaned and polished. That was years ago. They've probably been lost or thrown away by now. Probably not. That would go. Oh, remember. 
The dresser, the dresser is artistically. Oh, that's his old outfit. We don't need that yet. Uh. Uh, we'll open the drawer later. Okay. That should be okay. Uh, which is her. You is hope there? you got this prescription. I hope I did. Score! Thank you, Frederick. This looks perfect. You are a scholar and a gentleman. Yes, we are. We are oh, such shucks. a scholar and a gentleman. I'm just a poor pharmacist trying to please my favorite customer. Will I see you again soon? I think that can be arranged, Frederick. See you soon. I'll be waiting. So long now, Penelope. I hope she got the right thing. Unfortunately, you were so taken with Penelope's angelic presence that you forgot to charge her the 19 cents she owed you. Oh god, 19 cents. Whatever shall we do? It's okay, Freddy. Freddy Farkas! Yes, well, that's my good name. Well, to you, Ms. Back. What can I do for you today? Well, Freddy Farkas, Dr. Gillespie, that no good gin soap saw no lush, wrote me this damn prescription that'll probably cost me an arm and a leg. Here, take it. The rot gut from that old wino doctor is making my new ensemble stink to high heaven, I want to tell you. I think if I put it up to about there, it should be fine. And because the dock is a... Uh, Trunk. Dad gum. Where's the this puddle of Hey Dad Gums? Oh there it is. I was about to say, where the fuck is my glass? Because you stir Helen Back's prescription is barely legible due to all the whiskey spots, <laughs> but you eventually decipher it. I think that's about right. Like I say, I'm trying to do all the audio on the fly. Helen... Something with a Q. Study Helen Back's prescription and prepare to carefully fill it. Uh, where's the copyright? Uh, where did I put the copyright? Oh, it's over har. The game of a Q. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. Oh, here we go. To prepare a dosage, I guess in that 60 we gotta do, so we gotta get our measuring thing out. We need to prepare, we need 15 of whatever that is. Oh god, I'm so glad I'm not in the medical field. I think that's it? No.
That's it. We need 15 mils of that. 15 mils of that. Uh, get a medical bottle. Get a crucible. I'm gonna... The crucible is only for melting pure or new. Oh. Measuring spatula. This is where. Put it in a. This is where you can. Guess we can put it in a beaker. Oh, there we go. And now we need thirty of. Oh my god. Medical name, it begins with a P, folks. <laughs> I think that's it. Add 30 of that. Oops. Graduated cylinders should only be used solid. <sighs> this is where. Oops. So I need to do. 30 milligrams. Of that. Put it in the beaker. This is... I think it was 60 he asked for. Helen back. I'm hoping it's... Oh, my God. So, we've got to make tablets? Three times seven is 21, yeah. So, it is telling me to make the right amount. And then... I'll put that back. Then we've got to stir the mixture. You toss it into the waste. Toss away the old. Then follow it to the right process in the pill thing. You only need. You can place the. This is. This is where you. Oh my god. This is where. This is where I know that's where he does his thing. I think there's one more left of pills. So how many pills are in here at the moment? Yeah, it's 21 pills. Um, let me put a cork in. You carefully label the container, Mrs. Helen Back. Take three times daily just before meals. Hopefully that's correct. Otherwise we're going to get a big old game over. Uh. Score! That's better, Freddy Falkus. That'll be 22 cents, Miss Back. Y'all just uh, put it on my tab. I don't have it with me right now. You don't have 22 cents. I know this is the old west and all that kind of stuff, but damn. Come on. Give me something. Oh, God. It's thick, Freddy, but Cherie, oh, dear. Just slide that handsome pharmacist butt on over here. I got something I need from you. Morning, Sadie. What have you got? 
I'm guessing it's well, for the old the STDs I've got, I've got a feeling. Feel. Some that'll increase my womanly powers, if you know what I mean. Be a dear and fill it for me right away, won't you? I simply can't wait to try it out. Your wish is my command, madam. You take the prescription from the madam. What a busy morning. You haven't had to fill this many prescriptions since Custer's troops stayed at the Dirty Sheet Hotel. <laughs> I'm guessing for the STDs at the Dirty Sheet. Uh, this prescription is impossible to read. That's what happens when Doc writes a prescription through bleary, whiskey-soaked eyeballs. Okay, this is the time we definitely need the whiskey glass. Uh, I think that's meant to be testosterone. 25 milligrams a day. Ah, now you can see this prescription the way Doc wrote it. Are you going to tell us what it actually is? Finally, you see the prescription as Doc Gillespie must have seen it when he wrote it. Through the bottom of a whiskey glass. It's still not going to tell us. Oh, well, it's testosterone. I don't think she needs testosterone. Okay, time to go and see the doctor because I don't think a woman needs testosterone. Excuse me, Sadie. Well, if she I've wants to increase her womanly powers, that Hang is. On, I don't I'll be think right back. testosterone's gonna really help. Okay, Freddy, but hurry back. Ugh, she thirsty. She definitely one thirsty lady. Alright. Time to go in the saloon. Dark. Why the fuck are you prescribing testosterone? There's sheep doing... Oh, God. I feel like I'm in Wales. Now my Welsh viewers decide to leave. That just... Uh... You thrust the prescription and the whiskey glass under Doc's nose. Hey, Doc. This says testosterate. You really want to prescribe this to a woman? Testosterone? Hmm. No, I suppose that would be un if uh, yeah, uh, in if yeah, uh, <laughs> a poor choice. Let's see. This was for Sadie Overy, right? Hmm. I must uh, I must have meant something else. L let me fix it. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, there you go. Take this back to your pharmacy and have fun. <laughs> Now, what Thanks, does it Doc. say now? Don't come crying to me, George Bailey. I'm going to swear out a warrant for your arrest. Hmm? Score! The doctor is well and truly sozzled. You study Madame Overy's prescription, fully amended and corrected by Dr. It's Dr. Erosterate. <laughs> One paper in... You study Madame Overy's prescription, fully amended and corrected by Doc Gillespie. One paper each morning after. So, I'm guessing we just need to make one? I've got a feeling. Good thing I got the manual up. Because, yeah, I was kind of sure this was going to be the copyright is all the pharmaceutical stuff. With names I could oh how yeah yeah <laughs> yeah time yeah. for you shift over oh god oh, please you've been reading too many dime novels stop talking like that <laughs> just trying to please the tourist herb. herb sure sure tourist whatever see you later I'm going to go soak my corns you my people call it maize cheese 
Yeah, they're definitely making fun of it, but it's still kind of ooh at times. How goes it, Pete? Just fine, Mr. Farkas. Just fine. Sure is a nice day today. Yes, Pete. It's beautiful out. I was wondering if it might be possible for me to knock off a little early today. Something in particular going on? Well, it's just such a nice day. I thought I'd spend a little quality time with the buffalo. Maybe take them to Yosemite, let them run around and do some grazing. You know, the usual. I suppose that'd be okay. Didn't expect buffalo. Sure, you can leave early. Just watch out for poachers now. I was to say something now. about his kids, or <laughs> if he calling his kids buffalo. <laughs> That's a funny one, Mr. Farkas. I'll be sure to do that. Poachers. <laughs> like anyone would want to do that to buffalo. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Oh god, and then the, all the buffalo went. Oh dear. I'm back, Sadie. Sorry for the delay. I just had to check out a few things. Perfectly okay, Freddy Hunt. <laughs> I was just admiring the way you display your goods. Yep, she definitely won <laughs> thirsty, Look thirsty talking. lady. Oh my, he's checking out the boobs. <laughs> All right, we're going to call this copyright number three. Number three. So... Ah. You study Doc's corrections to Madam Overy's prescription and prepare to carefully fill it. Oh god, I'm not, I'm not even going to try because I'm going to fuck up because I can't talk. So, one, let's get a... I think we're going to need the mortar because by the looks of it... So, we want to grind 15 milligrams of... It's advisable to measure your ingredients. Oh. Is it? It's milligram, so. This is. 15 milligrams of that. I'm gonna grind that in the mortar and pestle. This is where you can cock off. Dropped up. Two, three. So then the mortar and pestle. This is what. And then we want 15 grams of. Fuck's sake. Not magnesium. I think that's meant to be it. We want 15. This is. This is. This is. 15 grams of that. This is. Yes, I know this is. <laughs> Holy crap. Grind up in the morning petal. Now, how do I put it on the paper? Oops. Oops. 
Oops. Oops. Where? Oh, do I have to use a spatula? Oh. This is where you can... This is where... Your work. Uh. Do I have what? Oh, I need to put into a box and I yeah. One. Two. This is where. Yes, I. Oh my God, because there's so much there, I keep misclicking. And also, I better check the uh the this chat is in a moment because I have is not. Oh, fuck off! You carefully label the container, Madam Overy. Okay, that's her sorted. I hope. Why, merci, Freddy dear. That's gonna be 22 cents, Sadie, but for you, I'll make it 19. <laughs> I think he's hoping for a discount. Take it out in trade. <laughs> I'm a mite short this week. Well. Why, thank you, Freddy. Ooh, you sweet potato pie. I'll catch you tonight, maybe, huh? Or if it's I... a game. Yes, it is a game. Uh oh. What's this hey, guy? Marcus, He's holding his ass. My butt's killing me. <laughs> well, he those... does know how to make an entrance, doesn't he? My butt's he? killing me. Sorry to hear that, Smithy. Yeah. So give me some of that preparation, G. Uh, I just picked that up, actually. No. Nope. Don't want that. Want that. Score. That'll be fifteen cents, Smithy. But I don't suppose you can pay me. Are you saying I can't pay my bills fair and square, Farkas? How goes it? It's well, not going too yeah, bad. I'm going to settle up tabs with you anyway, since I'm leaving town. Here's what I owe you. Not too bad for a fi Friday. Smithy pays you his tab. A whole $4.87. Wow, $4.87. Holy moly, a windfall. You're rich. Well... We got sorta. nearly five bucks. And if you take my advice, you get out of this town, Marcus. No worries, no Church worries, Polly. Sure, closing people up right and left. Something stinks, and I mean them horses because they're farting up a storm. Sleep at a normal time. That's a weird view. Yeah. Like to pass out. Somebody must have put something in their feed. I don't know what, but I tell you, don't go striking no matches out there. Good luck to you, Marcus. Loads of farts. You was always one of the good. Good luck to you, Smithy. Maybe we might do a death back scene, maybe. Gruff, but good-hearted demeanor will be sorely missed. But you was a stranger. <laughs> Net wiggles from the uh, from the guy with the sore butt. Fire inspection. I'm here to check out your fire safety per the new town regulations. Oh, sure. Look here. It's a good thing I came, Farkas. I'm gonna have to shut this place up tighter than a piss ant scrotum. Piss ant But scrotum? Sheriff, how could you? What's the charge? I haven't done anything wrong. I don't know that phrase. Fire hazard, my boy. Fire hazard. Why, this building's a terrible fire hazard. Looks to me like this whole damn building's made out of wood. All the buildings but are made Sheriff, out of There we go. Every building in this town is constructed of wood. Yes. I don't know nothing about that, son. Tough luck, Farkas. From now on, just keep the front door locked. But what am wow. I supposed to do, Sheriff? This is my livelihood. If an eyes you, I talk to the bank. Good day. Wow, what an asshole. Get the fuck out of my pharmacy. I 
I'm guessing that's the end of day one. Act two. The plot thickens. Sickens, <laughs> not plot thickens. Oof. It's horsies. It's a hearse. So Freddy was forced to shut down the old pharmacy again his will. But he vowed to keep the place up, knowing that someday he'd be opening it up again. Problem being, the sheriff, an ornery cuss if there ever was one, was doing this all over town. The hotel, the playhouse, the smithy, the tall and thin shop, closing them all down on some flimsy pretext. There was no telling who was going to be next. Who'd put the sheriff up to it? And what was happening with the horses, for crying out loud? It were a mystery, says I. Oh god, they're farting. Yeah, we're gonna have to make this quick. Because otherwise we're gonna get gassed out. I think it's... Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Going to mom's. Hey mom, would you mind if I took this empty can? If you must, I suppose there's more where that came from. In fact, I insist you take it. Get it out of here. I'm sick of the sight of it. Scoop. Oh, we didn't get a score that time. Thanks, game. Oh, the farting horses. Uh. Ah. Digging through, digging through Smithy's formerly white hot forge, you find an unused hunk of charcoal which you decide may well be of use to you. So you um, keep it. Let's take the coal so we can make a fucking gas mask. Score! You take the rope. Now that Smithy's closed up shop, he won't be missing it. Score! And the leather you strap? Oh, I clicked over it. So I need to put the. You Hold drop the, the charcoal into the tin can. Now we're getting somewhere. And now I need to put it on the leather strap. Hmm. 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 Uh, maybe not. Hmm. 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 Oh God, that's gonna drive me nuts. That's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, do I need? Oh, cause the can's closed. I'm gonna need to put some holes in it first, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, fuck off. You poke around inside the can for a few. You poke. Oh, did I just fuck up? I think I might have fucked up. You touch with all the precision of a serial oh, there killer. There we go. Deftly poke some holes. In I the can't use the can, can the on the thing, but I can use. The ice pick Having on the can. Having your immediate desire, and in the process hopelessly dulling the ice pick, you exhibit absolutely no regard for this barren piece of locality laughingly called the environment by brazenly tossing the ice pick wow. away. Wow, Freddy's a little You're bug. such a consumer. God damn it, Freddy. Score! And now we should be able to put it on the mm -hmm. leather. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe not on the leather strap. On mm -hmm. the rope? Mm -hmm. No? ay 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 You slip the leather oh my god, it's so picky of what you need can. to use what on they what. Fit perfectly. Congrats. That's gonna you always drive wanted me nuts. a tin feed bag. Score. Score. There we go, we got a gas mask. You take a few deep breaths from the gas mask, clearing your head and enabling you to go on a while longer. Save here. I'm gonna call it gas mask. Just in case. I'll keep pressing the wrong thing. I don't 
don't think I got a paper bag yet, because I'm gonna need a paper bag. This puddle of No. Where do I get a paper bag from? Need to find a paper bag. Okay, we need to go and find ourselves a paper bag. I think we need to get some horse poop or some of their feed. Uh, maybe it was in here. Sam, Sam, don't let anyone go out on the street till I give you the say-so. The town's being smothered in horse gas. I don't know how it's happened, but I'm going to do something before we all choke to death. Yes, I thought somebody burnt some popcorn or something. Silent but deadly for sure. But don't worry about my customs, Fred. They're not going anywhere. Oh fuck, we need to put our fucking gas mask that on again. You take a few deep breaths from the gas mask, clearing your head and enabling oh, you to go on a We don't have longer. to wear it. All the thing, we just got a certain amount of time. Now where... I think it might be with Willie. You're beginning to feel a Well, if the fucking game would allow me to fucking go across the screen. You take a few. Oh, I need another haircut. I had a haircut like two months ago, and I need another one already. I need, I think Willy You're has, beginning. oh, for fuck's sake. Be glad when the horses stop farting. You take a few. I need to find Willy, but I can't remember where Willy is. Maybe he's over here. No, where's Willie? I need the paper. I need a paper bag. What I do need is the ladder over here, anyway. The ladder, held in place by a couple of old loose screws, easily comes away from the slide. You somehow cram it into your pocket along with the rest of the junk you're carrying. Way to go, Freddy! Wreck the little kids' playground equipment. Well, fuck them. If em. only they knew how good and true your heart is. It's my ladder now. Find his keepers. You're beginning to. Oh, fucking noise. These fucking horses are farting. You take a few deep breaths from the gas mask, clearing your head and enabling you to go on a while longer. Where's Willie? Now I'm gonna have problems finding Willie now. Oh my god!
you're beginning to. Oh, the fine horses are really starting to annoy me. You take a few deep breaths. That's a saloon. Oh. Is this the is this his thing? The door swings open. From the back ah, you hear Willie. Chester's voice. Help yourself. I'll be right out. I'll take the paper bag. You take a complimentary paper bag. Thank you. There we go. Take another breather. Now I think you we either have to put the food in there in that bag, or we have to to catch their farts. I know in this game, we we'll probably have to capture the farts. A really terrifically disgusting idea. Unfortunately, the horse's tail momentarily blocks your access. Come on. Do a fart. I need some fart gas. Not exactly a line it. Score. In what may well there be we go. the most revolting Ooh. idea you've ever had, you hold the brown paper sack up to the horse's anal sphincter and wait. Anal sphincter. With a reverberating. <laughs> <laughs> the horse responds, inflating your bag with oh, a foul God. sample of gas. You quickly twist the bag shut to lock in freshness. Yes, freshness. You're beginning to... Yeah, we're going to go inside anyway. Now we need to sort out something for gas. I think is in a hey, bubble have a migrator no worries you do all the luck gas mix question mark uh, let's have a look at dedication for urine Caffeine. Do we have to make some calcium carbonate? No, it can't be that. We don't want to make borox. Don't need cough syrup. Don't need elixir. I don't think we need. We need. I don't think we need a uh, laxative. I don't think. Oh, here we go. Sodium bicarbonate. Use to correct flatulence and diarrhea. Here we go. Checking on the chat quick. So, these will provide that also. I don't know if 
the doctor knows. I doubt the doctor knows. But it's worth a go. Oh, maybe we gotta look at the gas. Uh, the gaseous spectroscope doesn't work unless the alcohol lamp is lit and the spectroscope has been placed in front of the lamp. Oh, uh, okay. The alcohol. This is where you can. This is. This is where you concoct all your potent. The alcohol lamp is empty. You must first fill it with fuel before you can light it. <laughs> I gotta fill it with fuel. Okay. Do I have anything for that? I got water. I got medical bottles. I can't even look at it. Is the elixir flammable? Score! You fill the alcohol lamp with Dad Gum's alcohol. Oh, elixir. it's an alcoholic elixir. Okay. And now I can put the bag on that. Good idea, Freddy. The spectrum lines on that etched glass viewer reveal volumes to those who know how to read. Good idea. What is it? It's acidic? By the looks of it. So after a while. Oh. The thing burnt down. Okay. But it's slightly acidic, so how do we know? How do we know? What to do? Alright, one thing. Okay, we're gonna start this over again. Score! You feel. Yeah. Then we're gonna put the flatulence. Good idea, oh, Freddy. The spectrum lines on that etched glass viewer reveal volumes to those who know how to read. So, by the looks of it, it's slightly acidic, because I'm guessing that line means it... No. Score. I'm guessing it's acidic? You quickly lick... There we go. We've turned out the light. But the thing is, how do we know how... Is it something in the manual? Acne. Holds blue in dehydration. Oh. Oh, oh, it's not in color. Oh, that's a bitch. The copyright is in... Oh, no. It's not in color. Oh, that's bad. Okay, we're gonna have to do that again, because... I'm gonna have to do it on... Oh, no. Sierra, why? Good idea.
Apples and brown sugar and cinnamon? Oh, I think it's this one. Uh, Aminophallic titrate? I think that's what it's meant to say. You quickly. So I don't need that no this more. This is where. Yeah, I'm trying to put it back. So we need to go to A, I think. If I look good. We go. Extremely powerful cure for temporary or non-acute flatulence in man or bees. Ah, that's what we need. Okay. So we need 40 grams of uh, sodium bicarbonate. How many is that? 40? Did that? Yeah, 40. This is. This is. This is. 40 grams of sodium bicarbonate. Do we need... Is it all grams? No, it's going to be liquids as well, but it looks like it's got milliliters. This is... This is... I'm trying to put it back, you twit. No need... Oh, God. That's what... Right, chlora? Chloride? What? Ugh, fuck knows. I ain't no doctor. I want 15 milliliters of that. Goes in there. This is what. Pour into a beaker, dilute with 100 milliliters of water. Hundred milliliters of water. Add five grams of magnesium sulfate. So after a while, most folks in town plumb passed out. Oh my from the god, am I on a fucking timer? Didn't get... You gotta be fucking kidding me. At least I know what I fuck I need to make. So, okay, we this need is that. Where... We need 40 of that. I'm gonna have to work fucking quick. This is this is... I need 15 of this? Yeah. One, two, three, oh, fuck. Did too much. This is... No, this I'm... is... This is where you drop... 15 of that. I need a hundred of water. One, two, three, two, 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 two. Hundred mils of that. Five green, five milligrams of magnesium sulfate. Five grams of that. Into that it goes. Stir with finger bob. And pour into a bottle. Well, that was a fun experiment. What? Ah, oh dear. So I need this out, and I need this. This is 40 of this. Well, 40 sodium bicarbonate. This is. And I want to get this. Nope. I want 15 of that. Pour 
going to be a dilute with 100 milliliters of water. Add five grams of magnesium sulfate. Five grams of magnesium sulfate into the beaker. It's 160 milliliters. Whatever, put it back over there. Mix well with a pure glass rod. This is where you tie. Well, that was a what? fun experiment, but it's not going to help you out of your present mess. You throw it all away as you leave your lab table. I'm doing what the copyright is telling me to. What? And since I'm on a fucking... Oh, mix with water one to one thousand. Uh, uh, uh. So it doesn't need that much water. Oh, fuck you, game. Fuck you. So I think that's 45 milliliters it needs. That needs 40 grams of that. Well, so I need of this brown bottle, I need 15 of into the beaker. Oh, to make 100 milliliters, so I need 45. I was reading it wrong. I was reading it wrong. Fucking game. You toss it in. There's a ball. This is where you. I'm trying to put it down yet. Twit. You carefully label the jar. There we go. Phenophilic citrate. Congratulations! Oh my You've God! Just created your first batch of Farkas's deflatulizer. Farkas's deflatulizer. Okay. I keep. Uh, no more farts. So I'm guessing we gotta go and put this into the water supply of the horses. I'm guessing. Oh, Freddy. You don't? Your path find. Freddy, go out the door. I'm guessing... Oh, I want to look at the thing. Ta-da! Ta-da! Score! You carefully pour the deflatulizer into the horse's water trough. The horses greedily lap up the delish and nutrish medicated trough water. Does it get rid of their fox? His home brewed patootie sealant done the patootie trick on these sealant. horses. Freddy ran round and dumped the stuff into all the horse troughs in town. It weren't long before the folks of Coarse Gold was all breathing a sigh of relief. Freddy tossed away his homemade gas mask. Kind of a shame, too, since he could have made a purdy penny off the patent rights. Life returned to normal for a short spell, any hooch, until one lazy day when one of the local inbreds came running up with the latest calamity. Wait, latest calamity? What's the latest calamity? I dread to think. 
Board up your windows and doors. Lock up the women and children. Run for the border, Louise. There's a stampede a-coming. A stampede! Hurry up, Freddy. You only got a week and a half before they get here. Week and a half? A week and a half? They snails! Snails? Snails? Good heavens. This is the worst thing to happen to coarse gold since the great hail of clams back in 83. I guess you could always eat the snails. Uh, okay, so we gotta get rid of the snails, and I think we gotta go to the saloon to figure this out. Oh, Freddy, please. Oh, dear. I think we gotta get some beer. Or at least get some beer bottles, I think we need to get. Okay, I'm gonna save first. Snails. That just doesn't work. Score! Hey, Sam. Give me a case of the beer you just got in from St. Louis. One case of lowbrow for the pharmacist. Lowbrow. Coming right up. Well, Sam hands like most you a case beers. of lowbrow. The beer Not that exactly gave St. Louis exactly the best Louis kind of beer. Blues. Now, you know that this beer doesn't come corked, right? They're using some newfangled pinched metal tops. No problem, Sam. I'll take care of it. All right. Fine. That'll be four dollars eighty-seven. Exactly how much we got paid. Here you go. Nice bankroll. Come back anytime. That's pretty expensive for some beer, you know, considering of what error. In? That seems like a lot of money for beer. <laughs> Even a case of beer, that seems like a lot of money. Okay. Oh. Oh, I remember now. Hey, sure. Hey, top. Hey, man, I love this game. How are you liking it? I played this game a long time ago. I just basically remember how to do things and the game being very picky about what you use on what. Ah. Uh. Oh. With muscles bulging from years of grappling with child proof how's caps, you, doing today? you deftly wield the church key and wrench the tops from all the beer bottles. Score! Yep, we well, got open up. We got the open beer now. Doing all right. My sleep schedule is messed up these days. I think most of our, I think most people who stream and whatnot, sleep schedules don't stay. <laughs> oh. Now get. Ah, well you got kicked out again, dude. Where's the snails? Snails, where are you? That was a close one. Oh. Considering the condition of this old bridge. You may only have about three crossings left. All right, I'm going to save here just in case. Uh, snail. I'm hoping I had to go across the bridge. Other than the reference, yeah, that you can only go across the bridge so many times. Uh, oh, I guess I can't go any 
You grab a couple of snails from the front of the pack while imagining the aroma of warm, drawn butter. Oh, we get to get some escargot, do we? And I think we gotta use the... You have... Oh, that's okay. You have again. a full case of opened lowbrow. Don't get caught with it in your buggy. You dip... How's this game? Hey boys, it's Miller time! Oh god, not Miller. And with that, you cleverly pour bottle after bottle of Sam Andreas's St. Louis brew into the dusty road in an attempt to divert the stampede. Will it work? Will the snails fall for your ruse? Will they accept a domestic? I guess it means domestic their little beer. Hearts out. If snails may be said to slurp, or to have hearts for that matter, the little guys follow your lead straight over to the cliff beside Blackwater Creek. And there goes the snails. Isn't that cute? They're so gullible. Don't they look just like little lemmings marching over that cliff? Oh, uh, lemmings reference. <laughs> Definitely lemmings reference. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, God, it's lemmings. Oh my god, I remember Lemmings. I'd like to play Lemmings on stream at one point. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, now we get the, uh... Uh, let's call him New Guy. I want to talk to him. Hello, stranger. I haven't seen you around these parts before. I know it's none of my business, but why are you sitting on top of an active anthill in the heat of this semi-desert sun? Oh, my formal fellow. I am but a weary traveler from a land far, far away, journeying here peacefully oh, merely to experience the curative powers of your local mineral waters. The other members of my stagecoach party Claiming a frustration with my excessive verbosity and sesquipedalian inclinations this forcefully kind of thing placed would not me get in my away current sitting days. position on this, this is definitely a day before PC was knowing full a well thing. <laughs> that because of religious reasons I would be unable to climb down by myself. Oh no, oh, I wouldn't get past today. No, even a are. My name is Frederick Farkas. I own the local pharmacy here in Coarse Gold. You can definitely tell Al Lowe was How involved do you do, with this Mr. game. Farkas? My name is Srini Lalkaka Bagnish. Oh, Pardon 19, me if I don't yeah. get up. And now low. Hmm. I've been considering taking on a loyal Indian sidekick. I'm seeking a new assistant down at the pharmacy. Would you be considering a relocation to this area? You know, Coarse Gold offers extremely reasonable housing costs and an abundance of I'm sunny sorry, weather. Go. And it's close got another to schools and churches. Stream. Well, no. Not really, but then yes, we'll do the rest perhaps of this I would be willing, next but stream? as you can readily see, I'm quite busy at this current moment. Have you considered climbing down and walking away? But you crushed the ants. I ends. cannot possibly do that. Life is sacred. If I were to Hello, move, I should indubitably injure some of these small six-legged life forms. I'm sure someone will uh, come along <laughs> soon to the aid of me. I'll see what I can do, Srini. It's, it's a game of its time. I can't say much, but oh. it definitely makes me a little bit uncomfortable in a way. The ladder might assist my situation. However, I am not in positioning to maneuver it thusly to facilitate escapage. Uh. Hello, again. stranger. What? How? How do you? Hmm. I'm. Well, have you? I can. I'll. S it's like when you talk to your grandma and she kind of drops some old-fashioned words. Uh, you love her to say. Unfortunately, I don't have any grandparents anymore, so unfortunately. <laughs> The ladder might assist my situation. However, I am not in positioning to maneuver it thusly to facilitate escapage. 
that just uh, that just uh, I've got it, Srini. I know oh. how I can help you. I have to click on the Here ant hill, partner. not Hook him. Your way across Thanks, this. game. Score. Oh, my balance sense is stretching now. You made it. Thank you, Mr. P. You saved me. What? Please don't call me that. <laughs> Mr. P. Thank you again, Mr. F. I am so much grateful. I don't think that's much oh, I don't think that's much better. Grateful enough to accept the assistance position I mentioned earlier? I could really use some help around the shop. I would be honored. Where do I begin? So Freddy headed on back to the pharmacy, followed by the eternally grateful Srini Lakaka Bagnish. Seems like Freddy not only found himself a new assistant at the pharmacy, but also so makes a me good friend as well. I'm just like, oh dear lord. So as my assistant, I want you to help me around the store, clean up. I love you, know, you Sierra, but goddamn. Oh. I would be highly gratuitous of your bending over to display me such a position. Would you be offering as well a form of payment? I'll pay you ten cents a day and all the rustler's stove chocolates you can eat. That is an agreement. Excellent. Uh, um, what was your name again? Srini Lakaka Bagnish. But you may call me Srini, and I will be calling you Freddy. Okay. Okay, now let's get cracking, Strini. My chat I'd decided like you to, to go die out just there for a second then. Some nice displays for the skin lotions. It, it reconnected, but it decided to die for a second. But we'll be opening sooner or later, and we've got to be ready. I think we might try and get to the what next act. What it is, act, ready. I will be getting on that now. Act. Okay. Got him done, and I think from what I remember, we gotta get rid of people's diarrhea next. Um, we gotta get rid of Mind people's store, diarrhea you, next. Srini? By sound, I'm I think. off to uphold justice and stuff. Okie the dokey. Okie I say okie dokie a lot, actually. <laughs> yep, everybody's lining up to take a shit. Holy cow, you've never seen such a long line at the outhouse. Something's rotten in the state of Coarse Gold's bowels. Oh. That was a little bit of a mistake there by programming. They had the uh, the voice thing behind the, uh, the, the text box behind the, the thing. That was a little bit of a weirdity. But yet, it's the water. We can take it. Okay, I'm gonna save the first. I take. Uh, the sh. The shits. That's what everybody's got. Let's take a drink. You turn the faucet on, and water gushes out. Yeah. Let's take a drink. You wash your hands. You wash. Oh, can we not take a drink? You carefully fill one of your empty beer bottles with water from the tower. Right. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink some of that water. You take a swig of the water from the oh, water dear. tower. Uh oh. <laughs> we're giving him the shit. Strange sounds. Your small intestine begins to whine. Your lower intestine starts complaining loudly. Uh oh. Hey, buddy, no cutting. It's people like you that give people like you a bad name. People like you give people like you a bad name. Well, howdy, Mr. Farkas. Uh, I was just leaving, I swear. G g give me one more minute. Perfectly okay, Billy. No need to get up. Just scoot We're over. We're gonna a poop little. together. 
Uh, well, I... <laughs> Jeez, Mr. Farkas, invade my personal space, why don't you? Um. A few moments later, you emerge feeling refreshed. Yeah. Gee, that water's got a nasty kick to it. <laughs> well, I guess if you're constipated, it might be a good thing. But yeah, let's get some more water. We're gonna need some anyway. You carefully fill one of your empty beer bottles. Alright, and we're gonna turn off the water. You turn the faucet. Because I've got a feeling it's gonna kill us if we don't. Oh, did we forget our bridge? I think we uh, we forgot our ladder, didn't we? We better go and get our ladder. Oh, can't we give um the lady here the snails? I think we can give her the snails to make Escar go. Here's the snail. Uh, Helen, have you ever thought of putting Escar go on the menu? Huh. Don't know who around here will eat these since they don't give you gas, but I'll put them in a bag of cornstarch and think about it. And I suppose thank you is in order, so thank you. Well, fuck you too. That's very nice. Let's hopefully we can do this in time, because i got a feeling people are going to shit themselves to death. Like people got farted to death. Yeah, I've got to pick up. <laughs> There's the vultures. Okay, where's my gun? This is a this is offensive right here. It's fucking Cedric. Can, can you see him? He, he, he's over there somewhere. I, I can't point exactly over there because... Ah, I have done inch in that way, but... Fucking Cedric. Fuck you. Cedric the Owl looks lost Cedric. and out of place in the hot desert sun. If you listen close, you can almost hear him say, Freddy, if you're going to go in there, I'm going to wait out here. He always has some flimsy excuse. Cedric. Cedric. <sighs> why did they have to put Cedric in this? They could have put any other character, and it probably would have been fine, but why fucking Cedric? <laughs> Oh, Zedric. Why? But yeah, we'll probably get to the end of this chapter, then we might do the next act next stream. What the fuck is this? Score! Summoning up superhuman strength, you heft the huge pile of baking soda. Then, with a horrible wrench and tearing sound, you cram the sacks of baking soda into your pants pocket. <laughs> wow. You've got some really big pants there, Freddy. You return. Yep. Yep. It is good to look upon your eternally smiling countenance a face again. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've missed you too. Oh, Srini. You make my you make my brain hurt, and you make me cringe. And I'm like, oh fuck. Now we gotta do something for diarrhea, if I remember rightly. Uh, which means I've gotta go back into the thing. Um, bruises, burn, dehydration, diarrhea. The oh fire! <laughs> oh, I can't even pronounce that. I'm not even going to attempt that. But it begins with B. Uh, effective against compound against con <laughs> correction of diarrhea, although it's not normally recommended for individuals. 
but an extreme concentration is probably for an overdose. Subsequently, best. Maybe synthesized by. Okay, now we gotta figure out how to synthesize it. So let's get our beaker. I can't see the chat while I'm doing this, so. Please, please behave. Uh, bismuth. Is that what it is? No. Is that it? Yeah, 25 milliliters of that. 25 mils of that. With five mils of, oh my god, oxyphemonite hydrate? Ugh, that's a tongue twister. Seems to be this one. And into a beaker. Uh, and five milli. Oh, put into a test tube. There's no need. Oops. Oh. You drop. This is where you Oops. don't throw. Okay, so I need. Where was that one? There it is. Oops. It's a drop. Then that was 25 milliliters of that one. So into the test tube. And then you need 5 milliliters of that one. This is into the test tube. Uh, heat over a flame. The alcohol. The alcohol lamp. This is, this is where you can. The alcohol. Oh. Oh, I have to put some more elixir in. Score! You fill the alcohol lamp with... The chemical warms slowly over the alcohol lamp. Now it's getting pretty hot. Good thing your calluses are thick. The chemical rapidly reaches a full rolling boil. So I reach you the boil and pour medicine into a bottle. You Put quickly lick your first. Put a cork on it. You carefully label the bottle. There we go. Bisalicylate antitoxidine. Congratulations. It's Be careful, this stuff is mighty concentrated. We need to put it, you only need a four thousandth of a dose. So, yeah, we need to put in the water supply. Okay, let's save. Uh, meds or oops, question mark. <gasps> oh, it's been so long since I played this. I think I played this. Oh, I don't think I played since like the early 2000s. It was like the last time I probably played this. Mind the store, won't you, Srini? No, I'm up to a pole justice and stuff. Okie the dokie. Okie the dokie. Thank you, Srini. Although your although your voice makes my soul hurt because it's so <laughs> It's so offensive, <laughs> the voice. To anybody from India, I'm sure if anybody is watching this in India, is probably think, oh my god, what the fuck is this guy playing? And I do apologize. Score. You grab the ladder. Score. Can't reach the... 
Ah. Uh, can't reach the roof of the water tank from here. Wait, what? Remembering your father's advice about never using the topmost rungs of a ladder, you stop just short of the ladder top. I think I'll call make this hank of rope is plenty sturdy. Give your I think I've got that just doesn't work. That just that just that just No? I'm sure that's what I gotta do. Unless I've gotta use it in my inventory first. With a few quick movements you make oh, an off. I've gotta make a lasso, lasso first. Lasso out of there the we go. It's like falling off a log. Once you learn how, you never forget. Score. Okay, now we got a lasso. Let's cure these people of the poops. You snare the tower top. The crowd eats it up. Who's the schmuck with the rope? No, <laughs> just schmuck. Be careful, with the you rope. don't put an eye out. With a rope? Score. I don't think he's going to be putting out any eyes with a rope. As you reach the top of the water tower, the crowd cheers. Thank God, it's Freddy. We're number one. We're number one. What are you going to do now, Freddy? I'm going to cure you with the shit. I'm going to Sierra Land. Oh, yeah, I want to go to Sierra Boing. Land. That one hit a 9.0 on the free plug -a meter I want to go to Sierra Land. I think yeah, that's the hatch. I'm guessing that's the medicine for the chips. This should do the trick. Yeah. Anti-pupulant. Nice name. Okay, guys, drink up the water so you don't poop yourselves to death. You carefully pour the purification solution into the town's okay, I think water there's one supply. more thing we can do in this Excellent act. job. It worked and then I'll probably a few call it a stream. Because the then we'll course, do like gold act three. I think better. there's five Their acts or is there four? Were all settled down and happy. It's four or five Freddy acts. Knew he could relax now. Everything was calm and peaceful. But round about midnight, that very same night, trouble struck again. Freddy was in his own bed, sound asleep, when... Fire! Fire, Freddy Farkas! Please come urgently! <laughs> what? What's wrong, Srini? A tragedy is becoming... The assay office is aflame. She is burning with a might more severe... The pharmacy may be next alighted. Get dressed as soon as possible. I am dressed. I don't own pajamas. Take mine. No, wait. There is not time to perform such an effort. Just hurry and scheme in such a way so as to extinguish the most threatening fire. Alright, so we're going. Oh, that's my inventory. We're going to go. Putting caps fire! There we go. How many points do we have so far? We have 686 out of 999. So we are. There's probably going to be four chapters, I think. But yeah, we'll probably do it off. Once we get to chapter three, we'll. Probably leave it there just for today because I'm coming up to usually where I end. Mind the store, won't you, Srini? I'm off to uphold justice and stuff. Justice and Okey stuff. The okey. Way to go there, Freddy. Way to go. Uh, 
Ready? Ready. There we go. The old abandoned assay office is ablaze, threatening to burn down not only itself and your pharmacy, but the whole town. Alright, so what I remember is we've got users on the seesaw as a kind of catapult of the baking soda. Then we gotta use the swing, because this is timed as well, because we can burn one. You're not you're not quite You're not quite skillful enough to make a perfect three-point landing from the swing to the seesaw without breaking every bone in your body. In other words, try it and you'll be the man with the flopping trapezium. Oh. Yep. We got a death. We crashed. Okay. I'm going to have to make another save there. Mind the store, won't you, Sweeney? I'm off to uphold justice and stuff. Okie the dokie. Okie the dokie. <sighs> yeah, we've heard all that. Okay, we're gonna put the baking soda on the seesaw. And then once we're on the seesaw, we're gonna save. If we can. Yes, we're gonna save here. Uh, swing. The lowercase s. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're. You're. You're not. You're not. Hey, what? Oh, do I have to do it? Oh, I've got to get onto the roof. Oh. Yep. Freddy <laughs> fell down. I cracked myself went boom. The baking soda. It was a sad day. We found him all squished and not really living anymore. Not living course, anymore. We had our own problems to deal with all of a sudden, like. That's about when the town of Course Gold ceased to exist, as we'd done known it. But that's another story, boys and girls. I got to Whoops. be alone with my thoughts for a while. I put it on the wrong side. I put it on the wrong side. I'm a dip. A true, true dip. There we go. Oh, fuck off. Yep. Oh. You're not... Ah, damn it. I got on the roof, and I bet I'm not going to be able to get on the roof again. There we go. Now we jump on that, and boom! All the fire goes out, but we wreck the place anyway. Score. What pluck. What prowess. What, pluck. <laughs> what a ridiculous solution. Still, yeah, very ridiculous, but that's Sierra for you. You single-handedly quenched the flames of the assay office by using the seesaw as a catapult for the baking soda. Too bad nobody was here to see it. They'll never believe you well, in the morning. Well, 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 well.
Okay, I think now we gotta go to the the place of uh, horizontal pleasure, if I remember rightly. Oh, Freddy, I want you to go. Thank you. The boss there we is go. more than a little upset. Seems that our friend has been thwarting every plan so far. Yep, something's got to be done about it. Absolutely. Now, let's get down to business. What is the best way to get rid of our little problem permanently? How about hanging? Oh, too quick and merciless. Poison? Nah, too unsure. Ancient Egyptian dagger. Oh, fucking Laura Bow. I the can't dagger find Amon Ra. Got That's another game I have to stream. Not at the moment. It don't matter how we do it, so long as we do it soon. And we don't want no proof it was us, neither. And nothing to the connect real original it with the boss. Nancy Drew. Excellent thought. And I have to do the cone with the quest first before doing the dagger of Amon Ra. Make sure the entire town's cleaned out PDQ. That means we'll me having to do voice acting. And all his flea bitten friends in no time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm evil. <laughs> and I'm just a dip. Laughing cruelly, they sit back to reflect on their villainy. Now I think I can go inside. You snatch the French postcards. Well, hello, lovely Howdy, ladies. Chastity. Howdy to you, you big old sloppy hunk of manly macho woman loving man. Oh my god. Laying what? it on a little thick tonight. Yeah, aren't we? a little thick. <laughs> yeah, business is slow, but I gotta keep in practice. Evening, Purity. Evening, Freddy, darling. Has Madam still got you under lock and key? Are you gonna let us get a hold of you one of these days, big boy? I'm afraid I think we're gonna I'm need some pharmacy skills after uh, spending the night with well, these ladies, you if you know what I mean. Mind, honey. You know where to find us. Mm -mm. Well, we know and where when, to find you because we're in the place where you hang for out. How much? And how much? Oh. They... Ha, 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 ha. Oh no. Translation. How much do you charge anyway? <laughs> oh god, that's horrifying. Translation. I forgot how horrifying I'm that is. Sheep at twice the price. Oh. oh. Ba, 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 ba. Definitely an Aulo game with the puns. Translation. Sounds like a deal. <laughs> Oh Translation. god, bang the cheek, yes. we're not Welsh. I cast next to mutton. Oh. I worry about you sometimes, Aulo. I really do. The plush wall. Howdy, Miss Virtue. Miss Virtue. You sure are a vision of loveliness. Thank you ever so much, Freddy. And you, sir, are Damn. studying buff. What does that mean? Just that you're the manliest prescription. You got a nice set there, Miss Virtue. See. Oh, thank you. Alright, we're gonna save here just in case. Getting our dick wet. <laughs> I have to call it that because why the fuck not? Now, do I have to wait? Is this a timed thing? Oh, there, here she comes. Hey, Mona Moore. It's about time you showed up. It's the Ready thirsty lady. Pharmacy bill out in trade. 
Sure. <laughs> then get ready over for here this. before I have to come get you, little pumpkin. I have noticed some of the voice lines don't match the uh, the text, but that's Sierra generally. Whenever they done voices after the fact Daddy, of the game, I, I think you should leave. Why, Sadie? Just because I'm using you for cheap, tawdry pleasure when my heart belongs to Penelope Prim, the gorgeous, young, obviously more virtuous, new town school mom? What? Who? He wants to get spanked by oh. Penelope Ruler. <laughs> Nothing, never mind. What were you saying? Oh, I was just saying I think you should leave. Leave town, that is. There's... Oh, it's so tragic. Oh, Freddy, there's just no easy way to say this. The girls say the sheriff and the banker talk in their sleep. They hate you, Freddy. They want you dead. They're out to get you. Something about you foiling the plan and how they had to get you out of the way. Yeah, you see, there's run, a lot Freddy. more she's saying than there's is at he text. Down. Now, don't you worry, Sadie. I've been doing a <laughs> my chin is too big. I'm gonna have to make a cutout in the tech. Just my wits and my I got a logical knowledge, haven't I? But I'm not gonna just turn tail and run and leave you and Penelope and Coarse Gold behind me to fend for yourselves. You're not listening to me, Freddy Farkas. There's man a coming. Man with guns. Big guns. Guns <laughs> with long barrels. Long, hard barrels. Oh, God, she's thinking about penises. Steely barrels and low slung holsters. And. and <gasps> oh, she's thinking about the penises. Uh, oh, sorry. She's getting all hot and flustered about Sadie, penises. Snap out of it. Oh, sorry. I was just visualizing. Anyway, you'll never be able to outthink men with guns. If you're guns. set on staying in town, you'll have to, you know, go back to your old ways. That's out of the question. I left gunslinging behind me years ago. I'm not like that anymore. And I don't want to discuss it. Stop it. You gotta choose, and that's all there is to it, hon. Either leave town and save your hide, or pull yourself together and face reality. Oh, an outlo game about and these seventeen dick jokes. They're not gonna jokes. stop no bullets. Yeah, it's, it's an outlo game. It's gotta have dick jokes somewhere along and the line. Give these men a taste of frontier justice. Now, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. Hold me, Sadie. Press me to your ample bosom, and let me decide tomorrow. Oh, he's gonna moan about the boobs. You got it, hon. And that's when Freddy got his dick wet. <laughs> and there's Act 3. So we're gonna stop here at Act 3, and we're gonna carry this on next Friday. Now, Possibly let's see, earlier. where oh. was I? Oh, that's well, right. You become a Madam Over begged and pleaded with Freddy to either leave town or take up his old gunslinging ways, something which Freddy was just a mag reluctant to consider. So they decided to sleep on it. And though they didn't get much sleep, Freddy did mull it over somewhat. The next yeah. morning, he decided oh. to... <coughs> <clears throat> maybe I, I better. <coughs> Wait, maybe I better. <coughs> Never mind. Well, he's got COVID. Just go on, go on. <coughs> the cost. Penelope, coarse gold, Madam Overy. I know I've got to get out of this town before they gun me down, but I can't. Coarse gold's my home, and darn it to heck, I'm not gonna let some cheap criminals run me out of my home. <laughs> Still oh, love, right. but there's only like, what, the how many four was. letters? I've got to Even dredge more? up my ugly past, make it square gold in the face, it down, pick it up, dust it off, fluff it up, and put it on again. With my butt <laughs> chin. <laughs> Willie, please go away with your COVID, all right? God damn. But yes, we're gonna save this at Act 3?
we're gonna call it there just for tonight because I've done my usual time for tonight and we will be back possibly tomorrow uh, we might do some full guys with a few friends possibly over on uh, one of my uh, friends discord I might stream it as well I'm not quite sure yet and then Monday it's either going to be Halo or Kill It With Fire. And then Friday we'll be back to this and then whatever we choose to play afterwards. Not quite sure what to do after this one yet. I kind of want to do Laura Bow now because now it's been mentioned. I was like, maybe I should do the Pernal's Bequest. Might be a good 